Welcome to part 8. Now basically all that's left is to build out our controllers and build out our authorization object. So I'm going to work on the authorization object next. We want this object to contain functions related to authorization. Basically login, logging out, um, checking if a person is logged in. So that's what I'm going to start working on. So like um, the other template object, I'm going to start with a class. I'm going to call this one off. And it's going to start out, we're going to use two private variables. And I'm going to have a private database, which I'll talk about in a second. And I'm going to have a private salt. And I'm going to set that to a value, which I'm going to pull from our temp.php file. So I'm going to grab these characters, copy and paste them into our authorization object. Now uh, let's go down a little bit. I'm going to start out with our usual constructor. And uh, we're going to be using the database.php include to create a data to create a database connection and we need to be able to get access to this and by default the scope of the database variable is set up in such a way that we don't have access to it within this authorization object however what we can do is we can reference that by using global database so now we could have access to the database object that we created within database.php and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this database equals database so now um, instead of having to use the global database line in every single line of this object we can assign the database variable up here to our database object and all of our functions can access the database now. Now below it, let's add a couple functions. Um, the first function I want to build out is a function called validate login. And we're going to provide it a username and a password. And this function will return true or false depending on if the login is valid. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to make a connection to the database, which we do using databases.php. We'll need to access that database, check the variables that we are provided with in user and pass, um, check that against the database, and return true or false. So let's start out by creating the database query. So if st stmt for a statement equals this database prepare, and I'm using a MySQLi prepared statement for security. So we're going to do select star from users where username equals question mark and password equals question mark. And otherwise, else, if it can't prepare the statement for some reason, uh, maybe it can't access the database or something, I'm simply going to use a die statement and I'm going to say error could not prepare MySQLi statement. And um, you could potentially include in your template object the ability to show error messages, um, perhaps an error page that could have this error message in it. But for the sake of this tutorial, I think I'm going to keep things simple and I'll just use a die message. 
So now, um, assuming we were able to prepare the statement correctly, let's go ahead, do statement, bind param, and the bind param refers to these two question marks. And the first value is going to hold ss, because these two will be strings. And then a comma, and we're going to pass in user. And then finally the password, which is the md5 of our pass plus our salt. Like so. And then we're going to execute the statement. We're going to store the result, and now we will check how many rows are returned. So if the statement has a number of rows over zero, we know that it did find the user successfully. So we're going to close out our statement with a statement close, and we're going to return true. Otherwise, we'll have a failure message. We're going to close out the statement as we did above, but this time return false. Okay, so that's that function. Um, we have just one or two more minor things. This is basically the meat of this particular object. And um, let's do one other function for check login status. And it's going to be a pretty simple function. It's just going to check if a session variable that we're going to call logged in um, so if that is set so if that's set we want to return true Otherwise, we want to return false. And the last thing, we want to have a logout function, which is pretty simple. We're just going to destroy the session. Oopsie. and then start it again. So basically these two lines it'll destroy the session which means it'll remove any session logged in variables and then it'll start it again which is important if we need to display any alert messages that use the session variable. So I'm going to save this and this particular object is done. So the next step is to show you how to work with the controllers and actually access the template and the authorization objects 